we will now discuss what happens when you have convex mirror how the images are formed first and foremost the most important thing basic ray diagramming principles remain the same the way we have studied in concave mirrors there will be absolutely no change so recall we located center of the sphere the circle containing the mirror naturally you will draw the circle and try to see which circle fits approximately and you will say that for convex mirror the center of curvature is on the side of the silvering unlike concave mirror so this is the difference compared to concave mirror this is the center of curvature then you will extend the principal axis therefore and you go like this now if this is the scenario then we take the first case and the case for the number one is when object is at infinity if this is so rays will come from infinity strike the mirror surface and then will get reflected reflection will hold laws of reflection angle of incidence will be equal to angle of reflection so first we have to draw normal here and normal on a circle is passing through the center so we have drawn the normal now this angle and the reflected angle has to be same and we draw and this ray therefore will look like as if it is appearing to come from this point here so you will say that this point is the focus and image therefore any ray that you are going to take like this even the second ray parallel like this will after reflection appear to come from here so you will say that in this situation image is virtual because it is at the back forming at the back of the mirror it appears though it is at the back of the mirror it's erect images erect thing you will see in the next uh, case very clearly image is highly diminished because very little energy it receives and image is formed at principal focus behind the convex mirror is formed here now the second case is anywhere between pole and infinity you take the object so let's see how it actually will image will be formed I have taken an object now you remember that we'll take actually two rays going from the tip one will take parallel to principal axis and you know it will get reflected making incidence angle equal to reflected angle and again I repeat this normal is through the center of the circle this ray gets reflected with this angle equal to this angle approximately so theoretically it looks as if it's coming from focus and we need another ray to actually finally draw the ray to locate the image because two rays where they intersect or appear to intersect is the point where image is formed so let's take the second ray second ray we will take intelligently the one we will use the property of center curvature it will look as if it is going to pass through center of curvature so it looks like as if it is going this way you have studied that this ray which appears to be going towards C will come back on this own path so you have two rays from the basic principle why it will come back on this path because incidence angle is zero normal is this only therefore reflected angle will be zero 
and then you get two rays where they appear to cut and that gives you an idea of the image tip will be here and you'll have a therefore image like this so when an object is between pole and infinity what you see is the image is virtual because it is at the back of the mirror it is erect you can see tip if it is arrowhead is pointing upward here is also it pointing upward image is diminish very little energy when energy is low image will be diminished an image is formed between principal focus and the pole so focus is here and the pole is here it is formed in between the two so again notice that we have used the same property that we have used to locate images in concave mirror we took a parallel ray and then we connected it after reflection through the focus same here parallel ray after reflection coming from appears to be coming from focus and the second property that we have used is that any ray which appears to be going toward the center of curvature will have no angle of reflection will be zero it will be retraced back and therefore only single line will be seen we have then extended this in the virtual space where they connect we get where they intersect actually we get the image head so this is the basic principle that we been using always and you have to understand the fundamentals so that you don't have to cram Thank you.